Hey guys, Doug here, Revan TV. We are at Sevierville Convention Center and we are covering the F100 Super Nationals in all Ford show. And I'm telling you what, this is just amazing what we've got going on here. It's a gorgeous home. Don't forget, subscribe, follow, like, everything you can do. It all helps us out. Okay, so we've been looking around. There's F100s of all stripes here. I mean, some 50s ones, some 40s ones, some 60s, some 70s, all kinds. But we found a pre-49 Jewel right over here that is, well, we think is gorgeous. You let us know what you think. We're gonna go right over and talk to the owner and he's gonna tell us the whole story about how he got it done. John A. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine. You you look the part, man. That's great. I love the outfit. I'm Henry's cousin. <laughs> Well, you look like you could have put this together on the factory line, so but you did maybe. it after the fact, yes. right? Yes. So tell everybody what this is. What What did you start off with? Well, obviously you you decided you wanted to do a build. Yes. But you didn't do it the way most people do it. You started Correct. with the motor. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Always been a car nut. Yeah. First car I ever had was a flathead Ford Mercury. Wow. So I decided I could work on a flathead You Ford. knew those, right? Yes. yes. Well, the let's take car. a look at yours. The new cars, you know, you pick the hood up and you shut it back. Right. <laughs> You're like, what am I supposed to I do got, with this? Yeah. Yeah. Can't even find the spark plug. So what, what, is, what type of flathead is it? That what is a 46 block, 1946 flathead. Started out at 85 horsepower, so Henry said. <laughs> and from that, I decided I was building a hot rod. Yes. So naturally, I had to buy some goodies to go in the engine. So you started off with the Offenhauser valve covers and the intake, and you put three, are they downdraft? Yes, three, three douches. Okay. One's active, it has oh. progressive linkage. Nice. The back two are dummies until you need the gas. Okay. You mass it so far like a full power carburetor. Okay. Mm, you put, put so it in. You want the economy, you go with the one in the front. And yes, then yes. when you want the power, they jump in. Yes, it is. You know, I like love a passing it. gear. Now that's shoehorned in there pretty tight. Yeah, yeah. You don't have no room, especially since your distributor is all the way in the front between the water pumps. Oh, wow. How far? I can't even see it. It's so. so no, well, you. It's a little bit. If you had a bright light, you could see a little bit of red. Oh yes, right down yes. underneath there. That's yes. so amazing. And I've had two or three to go. Not them bad, but right. have problems. Now you cut this out. Wasn't there like doors yeah. that originally? At what it cost me to build that engine. You were uh, not going to let I, it hide. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> I decided it was not going to be covered up. Yeah. So. The vents that were all in there, I cut them out and just made I, a window. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. Because I'm not going to drive it in the rain anyway. Stuck the oval right there. Yeah. Yes. I see you've been in a scrape with the law. Yeah, <laughs> I went to Bonnie and Clyde up here. So okay, you they got gave a little, me the idea. You got shot at. Okay. Yeah. Now, obviously, you have original uh, spoke wheels and tire are wheels yes. with white wall they, tires. They were original. All of them they paint. They painted. Right. They were all painted. Original hubcaps. And then you but the cleaned them up and chromed them. Okay. Well, they're, nice. they're aftermarket, so. Uh, yeah, but they have the yes, look. Yes. They follow Original them. front bumper. And the bumper is has just yes. been Survivor? No, no, it's all aftermarket. Okay, but it's the original look. I didn't, my idea wasn't a banged up one. It was a new one. Okay. A nice, clean, pretty one. Yeah. Yes. And yes. you got the Greyhound on the hood. Which Ford come out in 1936 for their Lincoln Zephyr. Okay. Product, and they put it on and they put it on one of those. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And it fits. Yes. And it looks good. Yes. Classes it up a little bit. Yes. <laughs> and everybody wants to know why, where, where'd it come from? Right. And I didn't know the first time they asked. Now, interior-wise, let's go around that side because right, sure. this, you got your display on that side. 
you lead the way, and I'll follow you. All right. Well, you, it's All your right. vehicle. I so. know, but I don't know where you want to go. <laughs> he wants you to. What we're, we're going to do right. is we're going to say. Right. Now, is this an original seat? No. What was that out of? The seat wasn't out of anything. I bought a frame, I did and just I went built to a, a upholstery shop, and said, we. He come up with the idea of a Mercedes had some seats similar to that with bigger diamonds. And okay. Out of it, we decided to little a diamond and come up with the idea. Now I noticed you have an eight-track player in there. Yes. That's a little modern for this car. Uh, you say? Slightly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Old for us, but modern for the car. I had it in a forty-year-old boat. Oh, there you go. Little water tunes. Yes. So now you're bringing them on the road. I love that shifter knob too. Is it? It's a, a billet piece or a uh, molded aluminum that yes. you polished it's up. It's poured. It's poured. Okay. It's also got a button to shift gears. You got to push on top. Oh. And that lets you not go in reverse or gear you're not supposed to be in. Gotcha. That's beautiful stuff. Love it. So let's move on back to the bed. Now you don't have tubs, obviously, because your original tires fit under these yes. fenders. Yes. But the wood and the stainless strips, you must have done some work on those. Yeah, originally you, you had a steel bed, or yep. they did put some wood floors in, but they were just old rough oak. Right. But they didn't care if it got rained on. But and then the side side rails too. Yes. Matching this wood. That's correct. Beautiful. Uh, color code wise, you'll notice inside is a pan. Yep. I tried to make everything blend in. I love it. It's gorgeous. And then you got the chrome latches and straps. Yes. I love the straps. Which originally they were naturally painted. Right. I took them all off and had them chrome. And then the acorn style nuts on the end. That just Dressing nice it up. vintage look. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And then dual exhaust out of that. You had to have that. You had to have the big pipes. Yeah. Not, not, not giving away too much there. Huh? Now underneath, what did you do up underneath there? Is it the original running gear? Running gear, yes, but cleaned <laughs> up, spotted up. Uh, okay, and you have a picture? Yes, sir. There you go. Okay. And it still so, looks that way. And it's still nice and clean and yes. shiny and painted we, up. We don't we don't ride in rain. <laughs> no. I would hope not. Yes. Not with this kind of paint. All right, now the color of the paint. What is that? A uh, Lexus Pearl. Lexus Candy Pearl. Yes. I love and it. And if it was outdoors, you'd pop more it than pop it does it. in here. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Original gas tank, original yeah. tail lights. This is where they had it originally in this yes. model? Yes. And these tail lights, same thing? Yes. Okay. You just didn't have two of them. You had one of them. You had a stoplight, and that was it. Oh, but you have the yeah, blue you dots. You stick your arm out to one of them. That's yes. right. Yes. And you have the blue dots in there, which yes. is very cool, hot yes. rod style. That's correct. Love it. Now, these originally came with the visor, Craig. This yes. is a stock piece. Yeah, some of the older models, uh, Model A's and all, they were actually screwed on. Which they Later models, they put them, I love welded it. them on, fastened them on where you couldn't tell it. I think you did a great job. It's a standout here at the show. And you've got pre-49 pick. Is that from this show? Yes. Okay. Guy come over and introduced said, himself. And said, that's it. Yep. Said there are, as I guess all the suppliers in here can do whatever they want. They came by and said, that's yes. the one. <laughs> I'll take it early. Yeah, that'll work. That's for right sure. Up. Well, <laughs> anything else that we didn't see? Yeah. One thing would be good. Let me... Climbing on in there. Yeah. You ready? Okay. <laughs> ah, I love it. <laughs> Gotta have the sound. That's right. <laughs> Go, the sound and style go together for sure. Makes it go, that's cool. Yeah, I love it. And you've got the moon eyes. Yeah. Is this oil pressure, water pressure, PSI, oil pressure? Yeah, old flatheads were known for overheating. So you have to be protected. When you build it, saw off, well, I had a few problems that I had to mm. overcome. Now I noticed you put three holes in your hood. You know Imagine what? you have to pull those off to put it in yeah. place. But the reason I did that, I go to these car shows. Yeah. And you got all these big trucks and cars with these great big blowers on top. 
Right. And I'm sitting here with a flat hood, <laughs> like that picture over there. Yeah. And I said, hmm, I know what I'll do. And that's where I come up with the idea of to the, raise them up when I shut the hood. The triple stack. Yeah. Just, just it gives does you a give it a good look. look. Yeah. That's correct. I love it. That's what it's all about. Well, Johnny, I think you are doing well with this show. You got your. I'm having motor... fun. I'm having fun anyway. That's it. Have yep. you been to this show before? Yeah, it's a good show. Yes. Well, we, the crew and I, right. we're going to go out and see what else we can find. All right. Because That'd be good. Believe it or not, there's a couple of trucks out there that are almost as good as yours. I've been out there. I know. <laughs> like that one over there. Oh, we already talked to them. I know. I see so. you over there. Guys, we're going to go out. Good. We're going to go out and see what else Johnny is competing against here at the show. So but, stay tuned. we got more to show you. Thank you very much.